The Today Study uh, started in 2004 and enrolled 699 uh, kids with youth onset type 2 diabetes uh, into a clinical trial in which they were randomized to receive one of three treatment arms, metformin, metformin plus rosiglitazone, or metformin plus lifestyle intervention. The Today Study taught us a number of things, among which uh, was that the uh, youth onset type 2 diabetes is more aggressive in general than uh, type 2 diabetes with onset later in life with higher rates of medication failure uh, in all of the treatment arms uh, as well as more rapid beta cell uh, loss and uh, rapid accumulation of comorbidities and complications. At the end of the first phase of the trial in 2011, all the kids were invited to uh, enroll into an observational follow-up study uh, that we call Today 2. In the first phase of Today 2, those kids continued to receive their diabetes care through the clinical uh, study center um, and were seen every three months but were no longer in their randomized treatment. Starting in 2014, the kids were returned to care through the community and they were seen once a year for follow-up at today's centers for annual assessment of comorbidities and complications. From this second part of today, we have uh, found that these ki uh, kids are continuing to accumulate uh, very high rates of comorbidities and complications. We are seeing accelerating rates of cardiovascular disease, renal disease, eye disease, nerve disease, as well as very high rates of poor pregnancy complications for both the mother and the offspring. Taken together, today is giving a picture of a very aggressive disease, both in terms of difficult to control glycemia, as well as progressive accumulation of life-altering uh, cardiovascular, renal, kidney, eye, and nerve abnormalities, suggesting that this disease continues to have a very serious trajectory with important personal and public health implications uh, as these individuals transition into uh, emerging adulthood. So current uh, ADA guidelines uh, now support a much more aggressive approach to management of these patients with earlier interventions. Too often, as pediatricians, we are hesitant to uh, add medications or to expose uh, young kids to medications uh, that we feel like maybe they don't need, but I think the data from today suggests that in fact, these kids need a more aggressive intervention that is than is probably recommended in older people because they are having a more serious trajectory as well as uh, going to uh, live with these, uh, these cardiovascular risks for a very long period of time. Uh, therefore, we need to be thinking about uh, ways to more aggressively intervene while we uh, develop a stronger evidence base.